For years, people have been complaining about Google reviews missing. You do a great job and somebody sends you a screenshot and says, hey, I just left you an incredible five-star review, yet it doesn't show on your Google business profile. And then you start to wonder how many Google reviews am I actually missing? In our digital marketing agency and our auto glass company, we had the exact same issues and problems. When we filed this exact same strategy that I'm gonna show you here in this video step-by-step, -step, we recovered almost 70 missing Google business profile reviews, all five stars for a digital marketing agency and another 50 for our auto glass company. We're actually gonna go and walk through this for our auto glass company because we feel like we're missing some reviews again from what we were able to actually hear from our customers and have them show us, hey, no, I left you this review. So we're gonna walk you through this exact process. It's literally the worst thing ever when you miss a review. So we wanna make sure that you can walk through this step-by-step, -step, super simple, simple and easy, get your reviews back. You've worked so hard to get a review and then all of a sudden Google stops you. It's literally no fun at all. The good news is we have a process. There's a simple and easy way to get them back. It's not always fun. It's not always easy, but here we go. So you may first think of doing this if someone's left you a review, right? Somebody reaches out to you, shows you a screenshot, etc. But you also might just want to start doing this on a quarterly basis like we do. So every single quarter we do this on our auto glass company. You can go to this website right here, which we'll have in the description, support.google.com slash business slash get help. From there, if you have multiple Google business profiles or just one, you will go and find the correct one. And you have it right here. And then from here, you will type in Google reviews missing. Next, you got that, you hit review missing, and then next step. So before we continue any further, I want you to understand the importance of this, but also think back if you're watching this video and you're like, wow, this is something I literally had no idea that this was out there. Go back and think if you've ever received a text message or somebody said, hey, I left your review, et cetera, because you're probably in this same boat as we have been. Go back, follow these steps, and you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. Click next step right here. Click the preferred language, reset or deset default. Then we're gonna click email. So then we're gonna type in our information, all the typical information. What is your relationship to the business? Business. I own this business, auto glass repair of STL. We're going to put in the business address there and then the Google business profile ID. So if you don't know where to go to find the Google business profile ID, you are going to go back to the Google business profile. You're going to come in here. You are going to advanced settings, copy ID, go back over here and then answer these questions. Has this profile recently been suspended or disabled? No. Does this profile belong? to a elementary, secondary, or high school? No. How many reviews are this missing? We think it's between one and 10, but if you, for example, know that it's more than that, feel free to go ahead and click that specific aspect. Are any new reviews being published on this profile? So we are getting new reviews. We've just also heard that, hey, there's some other reviews that are out there that haven't showed up. So we wanna make sure that we do that as well. What is the time frame of the reviews in which it's gone missing? So typically say over the last few months. Reviewer's name. If you have a specific like John Doe, John Doe left us a Google review. This was the person that did it. You can then specifically write their name. And if there's multiple people's names that are on there, feel free absolutely to do that as well. Get all the information in there that you possibly can because it's only going to help you get this back even quicker. Make sure to do that here. Describe your issue as detailed as possible. From there, explain the entirety of the situation. We have noticed multiple customers said that they left a Google review and we weren't able to find them. That is pretty specific to just be able to have that there ready to go. Nothing else is needed. And then with that, as you continue to go here, is there any related case ID numbers? So if you've done this recently, I wouldn't recommend doing it until you've like heard back from them because otherwise you're just going to like really, really annoy the system, if you will. Once you go there, you literally click submit and you're good to go. I would recommend taking a screenshot of your case ID for future reference. This process could take about two weeks, so definitely be patient. If you're getting value, obviously from this video, we talk a lot about Google business profile stuff. We talk a lot about organic marketing, personal branding, all that good stuff. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment on this video if you got value from it, if it was helpful. Other than that, there you go. I mean, the process is literally that simple. Yes, it's annoying, but it's absolutely worth 
it. When you get these Google reviews back, you are going to be so freaking happy. And I would recommend you marketing it on your calendar so you can do this on a quarterly basis and make sure that you're always staying on top of it, getting back Google reviews in a timely manner, right? That's most important. If you want to scale your business further than you've scaled it already and you want some free strategies, tips, things like that, that we continue to share in our free Facebook community, in the description of this video, you'll see our free Builders of Authority group. Go click that, join that. We have live weekly trainings, daily content, and a bunch of other incredible, incredible things. But I want to thank you again for watching today's video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that way you get notified each and every single time we launch a new video. And remember, authority isn't built overnight, it's built over time.